Hello and welcome to the Demo Gaming YouTube channel. I'm Antonio and today I'll be sharing my guide on Twisted Fate, <laughs> the card master. So Twisted Fate is currently one of the most played mid laners in Korea due to people like Dopa or you can call him Apto, which is currently the best Twisted Fate player in the world and he destroys solo queue. And it's because Twisted Fate has amazing roam potential and he can help snowball his team and apply loads of pressure. So let's start off this video by talking about the current rune setup you should take, which is Inspiration and Sorcery, going Unsealed Spellbook, Perfect Timing, Minion Dematerializer, Cosmic Insight, and then for Sorcery you go Celerity and Scorch. The reason why you go Unsealed Spellbook is because it can give you a lot of flexibility since you can start off with Ignite or Heal and then you can switch to TP or Ghost depending on what you need. Perfect timing is pretty explanatory since it helps you against burst champions like Cinder or Zed who might all in you and then it also makes you able to buy Zonius faster which is usually your fourth item. Minion Dematerializer is great for fast clearing since Twisted Fate is really good at split pushing and it can help you clear waves much faster. Cosmic Insight can give you some early CDR especially since on your summoners you're taking unsealed spellbook. Celerity gives you some more movement speed and it helps you hit your cards and roam. And then Scorch just helps with trade. Twisted Fate's build is pretty standard. You usually go something like Rod of Ages, Merc Treads, Lichbane, Zonia's, Void Staff, and Rabidon's Death Cap. For your ability sequence, you're going to want to take W for your first, for level 1 and then max out Q. Your starting items will be Doran's Ring, 2 Health Pots. You can also take a Corrupting Potion if you do need more sustain. Alright, so let's talk about Twisted Fate's laning phase. So laning with Twisted Fate is pretty different since you're, gonna, you're not going to want to really 1v1. Your goal will try to be to roam as much as possible, so you'll have to play pretty safe until you get your ultimate. Beware of champions like Azir or Ziggs, since if you do decide to roam, they can probably just get your tower really early if you waste too much time. Some good ways to prevent this is to push out the lane before roaming, or you can ask your jungler to clear the wave. You can also switch your summoner for TP on your first back, and then once you get level 6 in lane, go ahead and push it ult bot and then you can tp back to mid lane also make sure when you ult it's in a safe place and not like in the middle of the lane using your minion dematerializer is important against tough matchups and and it helps a lot with wave clearing remember that every time you use dematerializer on a minion it increases your damage on the type of minion you use it on also make sure to use your blue card to farm since it doesn't waste any mana it gives you mana and it does more than your auto. Let's talk about Twisted Fate's late game. So you'll have all your Rod of Ages stacks and Twisted Fate is more of a pick champion and a, and a safe pick. So you're gonna want to either have Ghost or Cleanse and if they engage you, you can if they CC you and you have Cleanse, just Cleanse away. Then you can stun them with your gold card and then queue them and then keep kiting. And that's pretty much it for Twisted Fate. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do like it, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment for more videos. <laughs>